Get ready to make a bowl. Hi, Marie here. Welcome to Pottery Crafters. You found video number 11 in our Beginner Pottery Wheel Project series. Today you'll learn how to throw, decorate, and glaze a bowl. And yes, you'll see the finished piece. If you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up. If you want to support me or see new videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get a notification whenever I upload a video. Before we get started, here's a list of tools and supplies I use to make the bowl, which will also be down below in the show notes along with any other important information I may talk about throughout the video. The tools and supplies listed are only recommendations and items I use on a daily basis. I'll be starting with the clay already centered. So if you're having any problems centering your clay, you can check out the video up above. With that said, enjoy the video and make sure you stay until the end to see the finished piece. Let's get started. For this project, I have two pounds of Amico Stoneware 46 buff clay. When opening your clay, make sure you have enough water so your thumbs will slide right in. Stop to check the thickness with the needle tool. I'm trimming the bottom, so I'll leave at least a half an inch of clay. Push the bottom outward to the size you want the bottom of your bowl to be before pulling up the walls. Then pull the walls straight up to form a cylinder first. When pulling up the walls, you want the top to be a little thicker so you have enough clay when you flare out the bowl. Make sure you compress the bottom and the rim. As you notice, the bowl is a little wobbly. That means there's a little too much clay on one side of the cylinder. I'll take care of that by cutting off the extra uneven clay on the top. that's better. Compress the rim and make sure the bowl has the same thickness throughout by anchoring your left thumb against your right hand to keep the pressure of your fingers even and consistent. Make sure the wheel rotates at least once around before moving your fingers up. few more pulls to get the right height, then push outward with the sponge while supporting the outside with the soft rib to curve the bowl outward. One more pull to check the thickness of the sides. Get rid of any extra water and compress the rim. 
Put on a nice foot with the ultimate edger and remove it from the bat when the clay is no longer tacky. I'm using the Giffen Grip and Loop tool to trim the leather hard bowl. Hold on to the loop tool with both hands to keep it steady. You'll want to take only a small amount of clay off at a time. This helps to prevent gouging and ensures you don't take too much off the bottom. Once I get the desired amount of clay off the bowl, I'll let it dry and into my scut kiln it goes for a bisque firing at cone 04. After the firing, use a damp sponge to get any dust or fine particles off the bowl for the glaze to bond nicely. Then a little wax resist and the bowl is ready to glaze. I'm pouring Amico Smoky Merlot inside the bowl and brushing the outside with a large hack brush. Let dry and brush another coat on the outside only. Let that glaze float on nice and thick. To help you get the best results from glazing, you can check out my article on 27 glazing tips for beginners. I left a link for you in the description below. After the second coat is dry, I'm pouring Amico textured turquoise on the inside and brushing a coat on the outside. Let dry and applying a fourth and final coat on the outside only. Then, applying only one coat of textured turquoise to seal the bottom and wipe any glaze off the foot. Let dry and into my scut kiln it goes for the final firing at cone 5. Here's the finished bowl. I love how the color blended together, especially on the inside. It looks like water cascading down. What do you think? Feel free to post any comments, questions, or even ideas for future videos in the comments below. Some of the best tips and feedback come from you. Also in the comments section are more show notes and pottery making info. I hope you've learned a thing or two to make your own bowl. Check out my other videos from Pottery Crafters. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when a new video comes out. I'll see you in the next video.